wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then how would I pay for Luffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Here for groceries? Yep. And <laughs> you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the Demon Blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But... We're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! Luffy must be starving by now. <coughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know! They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> they're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road! <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms! Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Luffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I 
want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. It's 
so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? you go. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? G girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men... I just don't see what's so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy, that's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you? I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course.
Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Hey, has Luffy Set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Lafayette, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet! I saw Lafayette walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Hey Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night! I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me, just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques, and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better. I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely.
velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Lafie said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean, too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>